The Primo V interface allows you to search for material in the Newberry's physical collection as well as across a number of electronic resources. These e-resources include digitized collections, such as the Newberry's French pamphlets, articles and books from open access repositories, and articles available through databases to which the Newberry subscribes, such as JSTOR, Project Muse, and ProQuest Historical Newspapers. Please keep in mind that articles from subscription databases will be available only on site at the Newberry. From the Primo V landing page, you can access these e-resources via the simple search by clicking on the magnifying glass, the drop-down menu, and then Articles e-resources. You'll notice here that you can also click on Newberry Library Catalog and e-resources, which allows you to search across both the Newberry's physical catalog and these e-resources in one go. You will also see this EBSCO API Databases Search option. This allows you to search across an additional set of databases that's not included in the e-resources that we will be discussing today. So let's do a simple keyword search within the Articles e-resources search option. On our results page, we can both sort and filter our results along the left side here. For sorting, the default is relevance, and then we can choose to sort it instead by date, title, or author. For our filtering facets along the left side here, we can opt in or out of availability options, as well as format types, which include newspaper articles, book reviews, journal articles, as well as creation date, collection, and journal title. For an example, let's click into open access on the left side. You'll notice over here that we now have these active filters listed for us, and they'll let us know which um, are currently active and that we can toggle them on and off as needed. So let's take a look at this first article. Just from the result page here, we can see the source journal, we can see that it's peer reviewed, and that it's available via open access. So if we click in to the full record by clicking on the title, we get some more information. So under our send to options, we can export the record, we can print the record, we can have a citation to the article, we can get a permanent link to this record, and we can email the record to ourselves. Under details here, we have a description and abstract, and then we also have clickable subject headings that will bring us like material. As we scroll further down, we now get to our view online option. So clicking here, it's gonna bring us out to another website, in this case, the Directory of Open Access Journals, um, which allows us to view the full text of this article. If we click back to the tab that has the catalog in it and back to our, res our results, I also wanna point out this citation icon down here. Some of these article records have this in it, and if you click on it, it'll allow you to see what um, was cited in this article and where it might be available. We can then click this arrow to bring us back to our main search result page. While we're on the topic of journals, up here, Along the resource tab, the top of the Primo V landing page, there's this link to journal search. This screen allows you to search for journals at the title level or to browse for them by subject. These are journals that are available in the Newberry's collection either in print or digital form. The title searches that I will demo can be done from the main search screen available under library catalog search but the browsing option is only available on this journal search page. So for example, say we are wondering what journals are available um, for the topic of dance. So we'll scroll down to music, dance, drama, and film. Click on dance. And you'll notice here that it provides us with a mix of online access and print 
holdings available at the Newberry. As we scroll down, they're in alphabetical order. We can load more results. And if we look here at the Dance Magazine from New York, 1948, you can notice that it is available both online and it's also available at the Newberry. So clicking into the record for the print journal, it's going to look very similar to the record for the online article. Um, but as we scroll down, under the availability, we can then click Request for Use at the Newberry Library, which will bring you to Aeon and you can request the item to view on site. We can then click the X to go back to our search result page. If we scroll back up. So say we have a known journal title. Again, we can see a mix of online and print holdings on one screen. We can click in. And from within this page, from the journal level, we can also search within this journal. You can click the X to move out. You can click Library Catalog Search to bring you back to the main page. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at this contact a librarian form or email us at reference at newberry.org.